Nine News. Good evening to you, friends. Greg and Liz here with you. Whereas we start here, the EBR School Board is in the middle of a meeting to try and reopen that application process for the next superintendent. This is after months of back and forth and all the previous finalists withdrawing their names, but a new name is in the mix and it's a familiar one around Baton Rouge. Dion Guillory is live there now following the latest. Dion. Yeah, Elizabeth, late this afternoon, I talked exclusively with three board members who say they have to be united in order to make a decision. But it seems as though there's already people united around one familiar name, Lamont Cole for superintendent and Adam Smith as deputy superintendent. Now, many of you may already know that name, Lamont Cole. He is currently on the East Baton Rouge Metro Council and serves as mayor pro tem. He has extensive education experience. He currently serves as chief administrative officer of a charter management group operating three charter schools in Louisiana. He was previously a principal at both Park Forest Elementary and Capital Middle School. He also applied for the superintendent job several years ago, but he could apply again. Now, just in the last couple of hours, I talked exclusively to board members Mike Godet, Shoshani Stewart, and Darius Lannis, who tell me a choice has not been made, but they will make a decision that makes sense for the entire community. If, if Lamont Cole were to apply, um, how, how will that play in the process? One can't say. One couldn't say. Because, again, we don't know who else is going to apply. Do we, will we say that Lamont Cole is not qualified? We, I don't think we'll go as far as to say that. You know, anybody who puts their name in will have serious consideration amongst our entire board. are open and they will make a decision. Now they are meeting right now to reopen that process in order to get new applications and new names on the list. And when they do that, they will then close the application process tomorrow at noon. And then a decision is expected to be made hours after that. So very quickly. And they have no choice really because the applications are the, the process is supposed to be ending tomorrow. That's their deadline. If they don't do that, they could be breaking law. Now coming up all new at 10, what some are saying about this new chapter and this ongoing superintendent saga. Live at the school board, Dion Guillory, WAFB 9 News. All right, Dion, it is getting late early, as they say. Thank you. Let's move now to your weather picture.